Getting into Sinaloa has its challenges. So did getting out. We were still waiting for the busted Baja ferry. So we took a run down to Cabo San Lucas. Yeah. and ceviche. Sunday, and we're leaving. Todo Santos to go to the ferry, La Paz, which will take us to Topolo Bampo. Uh, should get in sometime around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. We had a really nice day here in Todo Santos. Talked to a really interesting guy, Tommy, who's bicycling down here. Five weeks ago, he started in Tecate and uh, has been sitting here for like a week in 62. And he did it all on the mountain trails coming down the divide. Pretty cool. We're on this road that kind of circles La Paz. Kind of cool. Up in the mountains. Lots of cactus. Tony stopped and got, we got some uh, burritos from a little roadside stand. Here we are, back out on the coastal road to the ferry. There? Straight ahead.
impressive. It's uh, five to one, and they're singling up. The engines are going. It's 7.14 in the morning and I am just leaving the hotel that we spent the night in after the ferry and heading out of Topolobampo for uh, towards Mazatlan, not sure where I'll end up. Topolobampo is no beauty in the morning. Flat, kind of industrial. Quite the sea haze here. Puente Sinaloa. There's so not much to look at on this ride. Pretty straight. It's a corn. Maybe a volcano over there. 5,000 kilometers on this trip. Put over 60,000 on the bike. 88 kilometers to go to Mazatlan. Back in the water. The ubiquitous Walmart. Malacan is like four kilometers long. It just goes on and on and on. that's supposed to be down here that's real cheap and I didn't like the Belmar it was too expensive and kind of gross but it is a beautiful view from here and I had a lovely really good classic ceviche this little place here and now I'm going to the place I've booked through booking.com
Hola. Bueno, buenas tardes. Place I could find on booking.com for one night. The gods must be smiling on me. Out the window. Bathroom. The bedroom. Eight forty-five, and I am packed up and leaving Mazatlan, which has been surprisingly delightful. And I've got about three and a half hours to the peak, and then some goat trails and hopefully some interesting riding up to San Sebastian del Oeste. Lots of the truck stops, when you ask for coffee, you get hot milk with Nescafe, which is not bad. All of this will be maybe five bucks. It's 10 11. Back on the highway for Tepi. Who says I'll get there at 10 One o'clock. A bit more features to the land, but the road is completely straight. getting more interesting. Well, there's hotels here in Auacatlan, but I really would like to try and get to San Sebastian. One more try. Senor, puedo ir San Sebastian? No. No. <laughs> Long way around. San Sebastián? Yeah. Did it go to the... to the gas? Yeah. And the gas. 
there. Looks like it looks. Let me see you. Ah. Looks like it can go this way. Puedo uh, San Sebastian. Here San Sebastian. That way. San Sebastian. De la West. No. Muy mal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I will go somewhere else. The witch? The freeway. I know, but it's gross. So I hate the freeway. Uh, you want to go ahead and eat? Yeah. yeah. But if it's really muy mal, then I... Yeah, yeah. It's... Did you do it on that? Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> but muy, uh, very hard. No? no? Yeah, you could go through this. Normal. Normal? Yeah. Mexico normal. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go look. Gracias. Straight ahead. <laughs> kind of like a forest service road so far. Nice. Back to concrete. Burro. This little place is called the Centro. Uh, oh, it's still part of the old town. on both sides. Beautiful. Cows, the ponies are looking at me like I'm crazy, as are the locals. Everywhere. I think, therefore, you know, loved ones who died on the road. Some of them are quite elaborate. Views. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Wiped out on something here. Not sure what. Oh. Oh. Just loose sand, I guess.
Okay, a couple of Mexican motorcyclists came along, helped me lift the bike up. Problem is, it's almost sunset now, so don't know how far I can go. I'm all back together. See if faith starts. Uh-oh. Clutch. Clutch is way... Oh, no. It's just the... There we go. That's good. Clutch wouldn't come in, but it's just the handlebar. The uh, rubber had shifted. Hmm, somehow we're in sixth. You're a good girl. A very good girl. Okay, let's get turned around. Knock the stuffing out of me. Guys said no hotel at the next town. So maybe a restaurant and then camp, I don't know. Oh, another gate, but very nice view of the sunset. dark. Still some light. And they do have very bright driving lights. The village below me on a river. So maybe. Looks like it's a pretty good size. Maybe it'll have a hotel. Way down to my little town. And it's getting very dark. It's the town's just over there. But of course, it's all steep down on some pretty scrabbly stuff, but it's going okay. And my lighting is very good. Oh, she just gets a little, a little scary. Almost down. It's scrabbly in places, but it's been okay. I think I've arrived. There's street lights. And houses. Hola. Is there a hotel, Aki? Aki, yeah. Hotel? No. Paid pavement. No hotel in that town, but uh, kind of on my way to San Sebastian now. San Felipe. 44 kilometers short of of uh, San Sebastian. But there's three hotels here and a little tiny taqueria. So I will go find a place to stay. Okay, I found a hotel. I have a room. It is not fancy, but it has a bathroom and a shower. So I am very happy. And there's a little restaurant farther. Further down.